So this is a um, current yield and capital gains yield calculation. So what we're concerned with with um, current yield is the uh, the interest or coupon payments and, uh, divided by the uh, um, price of the bond. So um, and and then capital gains yield we're concerned with appreciation. Appreciation. So, um, uh, question here: Basic manufacturing has a, an outstanding bond with a thousand dollar par value and a four point six percent coupon rate. Interest is paid some an, annually. Bond has nine years remaining until it matures. The bond is currently selling for nine hundred thirty dollars. The existing Market yield is expected to remain the same for the remainder of the bond's life. Compute the bond's current yield first, and then capital gains yield that the bond will generate this year. So, um, first part is the simplest part. So, our annual coupon is um, the equals the thousand dollar par value times the point zero four six. We want the annual rate, so we don't divide by two. So that's um, forty-six dollars a year. So the price the price of the bond is nine hundred thirty dollars. So the current yield is just the forty-six divided by the nine hundred thirty. So that's four point nine five percent. So next to calculate the um, the um, current yield, we have to calculate the yield to maturity in right now and then calculate the price of the bond at the end of the year. So to calculate the yield to maturity, it's the bond has nine years remaining, so it's nine years semi-annual, nine times two. So the um, the price of the bond is the 930, so I just hit it minus and go to 930. And then uh, I can actually make the coupon, take the coupon, annual coupon, and divide it by two. And then the future value is a thousand. So equals rate. So number of period, comma, the payment, comma. And comma, and then present value, comma, and then future value, comma, or not in close friends, so 2.80%. So the, the yield of maturity, you actually don't actually need to do the whole yield of maturity, but to get it, it will be uh, um, percent key, and then add a couple of zeros, so 5.6% is the yield of maturity. So so, um, so now I've got the have the ending value and the yield. So now I can calculate the value at the end of the year. So there's going to be eight years remaining. So eight times two is sixteen. The um, IY is not going to change. So whoops equals the two point eight zero percent. And then these two will not change. So I can actually just drag that down. So now equals PV. So rate, comma, number of period, comma, payment, comma, and then future value to $936.17. So, um, Get this thing out of the way. So my beginning value is the $930. Oops. So my ending value, I'll do a minus in there. The, um, so my uh, capital gains yield is going to be uh, equals, and I need parentheses, so the 936.17. Minus the 930 divided by the 930. So 0.66%.
is the uh, Kepler gauge here. So that um, $36.17 of uh, appreciation amounts to 0.66%.